Hi, I'm Susanna of Perfect Goose Design and uh, this is my latest crochet sweater design that I'm wearing. It's a top-down v-neck raglan sweater, uh, crocheted with some basic stitching, so it's just the usual basic stitches everyone learns with, uh, plus a little bit of mosaic, just to add a little bit of bling. Um, now, I've been working on this design for a little while because I was wanting to include a couple of key features that I want to share with you today. and. Um, I haven't even got a name for the pattern yet. I'm, the things are still happening in the background to work towards pattern release. Um, but uh, last week on my blog, I described the yarn uh, and ins and outs of this Rowan Felter tweed that uh, I used to develop the prototype. And for this week, I kind of just wanted to show you little bits about the um, sweater that you might like uh, and tell you a little bit more about what the pattern is, uh, I guess who the pattern is intended for. So first off, um, we've got uh, the neckline. The neckline was the key thing that, well, it's a pet hate of mine, that if I put a jumper on to be warm, um, I hate that, you know, cool breeze going across the back of my neck. So one of the things that I really wanted to do for this design is actually have the neck high at the back. So it covers uh, the back of your neck, and you don't get those chill factors. So um, that was one of the things that I really wanted to concentrate on, which you know people do, that's fine, but um, I managed to devise a way that doesn't have the obvious short rows there. So um, there's no different stitch pattern that stands out, it's just cohesive. Uh, so I'll have a turn around so you can have a little bit closer look again. Um, there you go. So um, I really like that it blends in nicely and it covers the neck, so that's feature number one. Um, feature number two uh, is the top-down construction method, of course, um, helps you to try the jumper on as you go. So you can adjust fit, which is really important. I, I, you know, optimising fit is really what um, Pepper Goose Design and what I like to do. Uh, in, sorry, that's what Pepper Goose Design is all about and what I like to do. Um, and so the top-down method means that you can um, basically make adjustments to the width or circumference of the bodice uh, for your bust. If it doesn't seem right midway along, you can adjust it. Um, and it's the easy adjustment of length because you can just stop when you feel comfortable, you try it on and see, see what you like. Um, and similarly for the sleeves, you can make a shorter sleeve, you can finish what fit, you know, where it feels comfortable for you. Um, and uh, there'll be notes in the pattern about how to adjust the um, stitch counts for um, accommodating changes in um, upper arm circumference. So you've got the width here and a bit of space if you would like more than is actually written for in the pattern. So the other thing that I really liked about this design and wanted to include is a split hemline. Uh, so I'll stand back and you can see that. Um, now, for someone who's a bit more generously hipped like me, I'm wearing black pants to disguise it, but you know, I, I, I have some curves. And um, I think, well, I like the split, so the, um, the hemline doesn't kind of bunch in and make you sort of feel all tight there. And it sort of, you know, that helps the fabric to flow freely. The other thing, of course, is having the back lower than the front means that um, you can feel a bit more secure and also you don't get the cold lower back issues as well, like when you sort of bend and, and things. So um, I really wanted to include that. But if you wanted to make the front, you know, the same length, then that's easy to do because it's the top down um, method. So um, they're some of the key things that I focused on for this design. And the mosaic crochet that I've incorporated around the uh, upper bodice here and the lower sleeve. Um, you can have a little close look there, it's sort of like a chunky uh, rib um, as well, matching the head. Uh, and I purposely kept the mosaic crochet fairly simple or you know, not overloaded and not a complex pattern because um, I wanted to keep it achievable for a lot of people, which brings me to the pattern and who the pattern is intended for. So um, the actual, I guess, the level of difficulty is really geared towards an intermediate level crocheter. Um, you don't have to know super fancy stitches, you just need to have some, um, you know, uh, even tension across a large piece of work. Uh, and um, the stitches themselves are fully achievable. If you've never come across mosaic crochet before, it's, you know, it's easy to learn. Um, and I've got, um, you know, photos and stitch charts within the pattern, you know, as well for people to help them out. Um, but also, if you were um, a beginner crocheter who's got the basic stitches down pat, 
and has pretty even tension, then you know, understanding that you're probably make mistakes and you'll learn a lot along the way, then the pattern is also intended really for an adventurous beginner. So um, it includes a, a, a broad spectrum of people that might benefit from the jumper pattern. Uh, and that then brings me, I suppose, to the grading or how many sizes I have graded this pattern to. So um, there's 13 sizes. It's actually my most size inclusive pattern I've ever released. Uh, I have previously released um, up to 11 sizes for a sweaty pattern, but this is my first with 13 sizes. Uh, and it was quite a challenge, I have to say, but I've done it. Uh, and um, the finished bust circumference of this sweater will vary between 80 centimetres as a, as a garment circumference um, up to 150 centimetres as a garment circumference. Now testing, I've just started the uh, test group um, just recently. So behind the public eye, um, the wheels are turning to um, bring this pattern to publication, but I'm not quite there yet. Uh, and really for today at least, um, I'm kind of getting to the end of what I am wanting to share. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed seeing the preview uh, and a bit more of the detail of this sweater. Um, and there'll be more next week about my plans about how I'm gonna publish this and how you might like to participate. Okay, that's it for me today. See you next week, maybe. Bye.